Okay, we're finally doing the quest, folks. It's happening. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm even I'm even excited about my pseudo dragon. I'm so excited that I'm gonna name name her. Um what have we got? Since she's I believe rideable or will be. Rain is usually what I go for for mounts. Um because it's like rains, get it? I'm very clever, I know. Anyway. Um also I think it's a pretty name. Anyway, oh, that was quick. I was wondering if maybe I could get it down to low health for my pseudo dragon to finish off, but nope. Okay, um, how are we gonna do this exactly? Fine. I'm gonna name this protection from shape changers gold so that it still shows up as gold in my inventory, even though it's formally ID'd now. Um, So there's lots of leprechauns in here, including the one right in front of me. Damn it! Okay, <laughs> I will immediately remove the ring I just put on. Put it in my bag. Um, I really should have entered this level at least before, because it would have at least generated less threatening enemies. Huh. I mean, nurses are cool though. Nice to have one. And rain, okay, there we go. Um, well, the, I don't think she'll come because she's already seen the portal here. Possibly the same holds for the elven, whatever. Um, the elven rogue will totally steal my shit. Uh, I'm going to start with poison daggers for the insta-kill. Woo! Clairvoyance! Let's go! It seems like... yeah... okay, still pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I'll go with Frost. Yeah, there we go. And bonus chameleon get. Um, so I have a tinning kit. I could use it on the nurse. But, I mean, nurse dancing, right? My HP is less than 10 per level, which is not actually, it's actually like about average in terms of the range of where nurse dancing is helpful. I think it's at 15 where it's no longer useful to nurse dance. Um, At 15 HP per level, it's no longer useful. Okay, bag of tricks. Put in my emergency bag very carefully. Another bonus of calling it emergency in all caps is it's always easy to tell that's the bag you're putting stuff in. Okay, I'm quite glad to have found that. Um, actually, Um, I'm gonna take it out almost immediately. Oop. Almost immediately after I lock the nurse in real quick. 
Of course, if there's enough rogue -y sorts of enemies on this level, it's quite possible she'll get freed, but one can dream. Okay, wooden helm of speed might be enchanted. It's worth a try, I suppose. Um, dagger, dagger, dagger. Love me some daggers. Yep, those are all my daggers. Don't need the lockpick. I just didn't want somebody else to pick it up. Um, that's not very helpful. What's this sack containing 14 items? How do I know it contains 14 items anyway? Did I try to load it before or something? I don't know. Yeah. That's pretty meh. I'm quite burdened. Why is that? Oh, it's probably because my tinning gets out. The gold isn't helping, I guess. And I just have so many daggers. Oh, and food rations. That would do it. Okay. Keep my tinning kit out for handy chameleon meals. Um, where are the chameleons at? Okay. I think I'm going to head over towards the chameleons first. Because then I can stop worrying about the leprechauns. Sort of. Okay. Um, Clairvoyant showed me an invisible enemy there, but I wasn't sure if it was like actually invisible or if I just it had moved. I could almost certainly one-shot it, but I really don't want it to steal any of my stuff. Same for this. Okay, Pseudo Dragons, proven its use. It's gaining HP. Um, actually, I'm gonna... Oh, I'll be bird. Hmm. I'll pick up this looking glass and keep it out. Um, if I get trapped by a nymph, I can apply it to them, and they'll just take it instead of stealing from me. Which could be quite useful, for obvious reasons. Monster detection is smoky, if I recall correctly. So I'm quite glad to be finding them. Um, yeah. So I know there's some secret door that allows me to get into the quest area, but I don't remember where it is exactly, so we'll have to do some searching. Yuck. Stealth is showing its use. I think normally these item, uh, these monsters would all be up in arms at this point. The leprechauns and stuff. But they're sweeping peacefully. I can't imagine how terrifying this level would be if I didn't have protection from shape changers. It just shivers down the spine. I mean, it's not like a picnic, but... That 
one's easy. Um, the statue trap less easy. I think I'll just or I don't I don't it'll only steal gold from me, right? So if I put that away, boom, I can just kill it. The nymphs and leprechauns, especially the leprechauns, but even the nymphs to some extent, I have a decent chance of just one hitting them, one shotting them. But there's just such a great risk if I don't that I'm sticking with range engagements. Crossbow trap. Um, I think it's funny that rogues are so good at untrapping things when the quest artifact helps them a bit. Like, I haven't set off a trap while trying to disarm it in forever. So, do I really need more help with that? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. I think it's going in my bag now. Huh, the leprechaun's trapped by the mimic, that's funny. Actually, I'm typing a little fast for somebody with a bag of tricks in their inventory. Speaking of which, I want to charge that. Apply Q. Put in all types. Uh -oh. Oh, it's awake. It's alive. Um, I'm not wasting my Daggers of Frost on these nymphs, both because I don't need to, but also because if they steal something and vanish, I don't want them taking my good stuff. And I'm just going to eat some corpses as a hobbit. It is my right and duty to do so. It's kind of odd that there's so many spiders on this level, although I suppose appropriate for a hobbit. I think it's probably just because spider webs are a trap, and there's lots of traps on this level, would be my guess. Um, yeah. Good thing I have sting, although I actually didn't use it to escape earlier. Whoops. Okay, um, that's all the chameleons, at least for now. I don't know if more will spawn. Uh, Guardian Naga would be scary, except I have free action, so whatever. Oh, they're very healthy, though. Wow. I'll stick my shape changer ring in my bag for now. And if a Alhoan shows up and eats my brains to death, then I'll feel really stupid. But if until and when that happens, I don't have to worry about leprechauns.
Oh, that was a weak nymph. Okay. God, this level really is annoying. It, it is kind of cool, I'll admit. Novelty and all that. And the little leprechauns, you can get like arbitrary amounts of gold, which is useful. Alright, I can just go up and stab him because I don't have gold. Right. Cool. Is there anything that I'm sitting on? A little wand, cool. Maybe I should check out the other moment then. Rock mole is probably a statue trap. Eh. Don't want anything that would, you know, it doesn't drop anything useful, doesn't give much experience, eats gold. Why would I wake it up? Guaranteed items with the mimic sound. It was probably just a death trap for the death drop for the giant mimic. Um, nurse is still locked up. Good to see. Ooh, I missed wildly. Haven't seen that message in a while. I think I'm gonna check out some nurse dancing real quick. a pretty safe level. I have warning in ESP. Um, yeah. I think I'm going for... 50 HP, nice round number, and then I'll kill it. If it's still around. Although my HP is increasing pretty fast. Hmm. Of course, it slows down as I say that. Nope, it's back up again. Maybe I'll go for 160, pushing my luck, I know. Uh, this last point is taking a while. Uh. I find nurse dancing to be as much going by feel as anything else. Like, even if you calculate the precise chances of getting... Uh, of, of getting a, another point of health versus the nurse disappearing. Who's to say how valuable that point of health would be compared to a tin, you know? So I just do it until I feel like I'm not getting anything out of it. <laughs> Which is absurdly unscientific, but... There you go. Oh, and it's gone. Well... 15 HP, not bad. I have like a good number of healing potions and I can always reverse geno them for tins if I feel like it. I don't know. Um, next one I'll just stab though. I am all kitted out in armor, all kitted out in weapons. 
And my daggers are always at the ready, quite literally. Uh oh, burdened again. Just so much loot. How can I carry it ar around? Um, I'm like searching as I'm going. There it is. Oh, um, sure, I'll take a dagger. Appear to be a chest around. Oh, it's on. So, like, I know quest leaders can want. So, there's a flag that some monsters have, including quest leaders, where they'll wait for you to approach before engaging with you. Um, most monsters with the flag are hostile, so they'll wait to attack you until you get close or attack them. Quest leaders aren't, so they just wait to speak to you, I guess. Um, but I haven't seen a quest leader wandering around in a long time, which I find a bit odd. I don't really know how that works. Um, what am I getting? I'm getting out food, that's it. Gotta have my food. Okay, um, and on to the next level. And let's just see what's on the level. Okay. Those are all the normal enemies. I think chameleons must not be a quest monster. They must just be a special like feature of the first floor. Um, I think leprechauns, guardian nagas, and nymphs must be the, the, the monsters that usually get spawned here. This Naga probably has one of the scrolls I'm sensing. Oops. Nope, maybe it doesn't. Are Nagas intelligent? Not Guardian Naga specifically. It doesn't say. I guess it wouldn't. Hmm. That's one thing I really wish the monster lookup would show, because it affects so much behavior. Especially when they're pets. You really want to know whether your monster will use a unicorn horn, or wield a weapon, or so on. Okay, I did not mean to put all of these items in my, uh, all these uncursed things. And it was just habit, and a perfect showcase of why keeping an uncursed bag of trips, tricks in open inventory would be a horrible, horrible idea. Speaking of which, let's take it out. <laughs> Something tried to throw oil at my displaced image. Ha! It would have actually been pretty annoying because it could burn my arm or whatever. Man, I have so much loot. I'm gonna put a few of my daggers in my bag. I don't need them out. Don't need a leash out. Yeah.
Um, so I actually don't remember. I researched the thief quest a while back, but I don't actually remember all that much about it. Um, I know the last level is a real pain in the ass. Um, luckily, I have a ring of polymorph control, so it should be doable. Um, the way it works is there's like four different areas, all divided by undiggable walls. And the, air, uh, the whole level is no teleport. Um, so, to get the, the Master Assassin, you need, you need to wake him up, in which case he'll teleport to you. Um, or you need to somehow get into the area where he is, wake him up, and then run back to the stairs, or somehow get to the stairs. Um, which would be a real pain. Uh, I, unfortunately, I don't have any curse potions of, potions of invis or wands of invis on hand right now. So I, that would be the simplest way to do things. It would just, I'd wake up the master assassin and it would be done. But I can't do that. Um, I have a tool torn, but it's not loud enough to wake him up from across the level. However, with poly control and so many tins of chameleon corpses, I can polymorph into a Zorn and phase through the wall. Um, and that should take care of it. Okay, I'm going to drop... Let's go with the potions of object detection. Because monsters won't use them, and I don't need them. Mini stash. Um, it's probably... No, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I won't be able to wear my armor while I'm polymorphed into a Zorn, my body armor, but I mean it's shit anyway, so whatever. Um, wait a second, why am I attacking a gray unicorn? Oh, it's, it's a chameleon, shit. I need to take out my ring again, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I didn't accidentally anger one, because that would have crapped all over my alignment. Oh, there's a bunch of chameleons here. Okay, good to know. I wonder where they were last level. Ooh. Means putting in the work. Still wish I had a better enemy, better pet, but not awful. Okay, I like to check. So because of object materials, lamps aren't always gold open parens, but some deep-seated instinct within me always checks them anyway to see if they're magic lamps. Um, Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna jump out of the way of the leprechauns. Um, let's see if my pseudo dragon eats the red naga. One can hope. Doesn't seem like she will. Oops. Um, yeah, I can't lift it up. Uh, so Monsters treat intrinsic granting corpses like treats. Um, so they won't like eat them if they're really full, but they will eat them 
they will generally eat them if they're available and if you toss them um, toss the corpses to them but if I can't lift it I can't toss it there is a funny message you get if you throw a big corpse at a small monster um, about how like the pet cat catches the corpse or is it vice versa I mean it's not that clever of a message but I just love the image of like a little dog catching a unicorn corpse or whatever um, in this case though can't lift up the naga to throw it there's a lot of nagas here how many more chameleons are there? Okay, just two. I think I'm going to try to take them out before the leopard comes. Um, huh. Leprechaun teleported, I guess. So, what else is there to think about? Um, I have good AC, so this hasn't really been a concern. Guardian Nagas can bear hug you. So if their other two attacks hit, I think, um, then they automatically capture you and don't let you go, and they squeeze you and all that, like an owlbear. Um, oh, I didn't really want it. Black Naga Corpse, but I guess I have it now. Nice to have a bit of an unusual meal every once in a while, I guess. Um, Alright, and then I want to take care of the other chameleon, and then I'll go engage the leprechauns without my ring. Well, the vast majority of the leprechauns. So we gotta take on some of them. I wonder if it's actually a better idea to keep gold in open inventory, because then maybe there's more of a chance that they'll snatch it instead of my gold ring. Oh, this is annoying. Can I get past? Okay, I guess I do have to engage the leprechauns directly. Oh, have I looted this chest yet? No, I haven't. It's even untrapped. Oh, but it's empty. Okay. I was going to be disappointed for a rogue level that just seemed pretty lame. <laughs> Ooh, put to sleep, let's go. Uh-oh, it's awake again. <laughs> but it has no hit points. Annoyed about the potion of speed, though. And we're getting close to burdened again. Good problem to have. Okay, no more... No more chameleons around at the moment. And I don't think they span... They spawn randomly more than normal on the rogue level. Could, totally could be wrong, but that's just my guesstimate based off of the other enemies that are appearing. Um... So, yeah, I'm not too worried about them. 
I find it interesting that a saddle uh, a saddled rider could come from a statue trap. I feel like the statue should indicate that. So I can't remember if bags of tricks have a max charge. It might, it might be 20 or something. So it might not be helpful for me to be um, charging it so much. I don't know. Okay, I've, okay, yeah. This is, there's a, I remember there's a room that has a teleport scroll. I think it's even cursed, which is useful, right? Um, can I teleport on this level? I can. Neat. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. Free teleport scroll. Plus ID and cool stuff. Of course I'm hungry now. That's to be expected. Um, okay, uh, I didn't know what, whether to take my com uh, protection from shape changes ring out, because which is a greater threat, coming downstairs next to a leprechaun or coming downstairs next to a chameleon, I don't know. Good, but I guess there's no chameleons on the next level, so there you go. Uh, so I'm going to drop some stuff here, bag of tricks for one, don't need that in my life. This is 120 units of useless stuff. Okay. So I normally just do annotate, but sometimes I forget and do hashtag name instead. And a lot of the time I'll name the floor by accident. I'll, I'll, I'll like do F for floor instead of A for annotate. What's my pseudo dragon? Okay. 72. That's pretty close to max for pseudo dragons, I think. She's definitely ancient now. Yeah. Can I apply a saddle to her? No, I don't have a saddle on me. Um, I wouldn't do it anyway. Uh, actually, I mean, I might do it later, but for reasons that may soon become clear, I do not currently want to do it. Mm -hmm. What is this? A statue of a specter? Wacky. How does that work? Um, what do specters do again? Do they level drain? No, just 1d10 weapon physical. Let's see what weapon it has then. Um, in evil hack, uh, in unsubstantial enemies like ghosts and specters and shades and whatnot, um, you need... Um, they can't be hit by weapons. So they need to be either, let's see if I remember this correctly, um, blessed, bone, silver, more than plus two, maybe also magical. Um, the more than plus two is kind of lame. It was added recently. I think it was added recently. Was it added recently? Is it even a thing? I'm not totally certain. I feel like it might be a thing. But it was, if it is a thing, it was added because it was too hard to find weapons to hit them early on. Like if you ran into an early ghost or whatever. Um, so they, it was just to expand the possible options. I think it's a really fun mechanic. Because like, 
and you can't kick ghosts either because kicking ghosts is just so so lame um, now they're actually a little bit scary in the early game um, But yeah, so Vorpal Blade is an artifact in Blessed, so of course it hits the Spectre. My Longsword of Venom is uncursed and not bone and silver, so I'm not totally certain. It might be it's like highly enchanted, which seems slightly unlikely. It could also be that because it has an O-prop, it's like magical and that makes a difference. And I, sus I would suspect if I had to guess that that's the reason why it hit the Spectre, but I'm not certain. I guess the third reason is that I'm misremembering which anim which um, enemies can't be hit by all weapons, and that specters can be hit by anything. But I don't know. Um, okay, I'm kind of getting tired of this whole quest thing. I'd like to get to the end, please. It should be next level, I believe. God, so many potions of object detection. It used to be that I just blanket dilute all of them um, for holy water. Um, recently, I've taken to saving some for Gehenna if I can't cast a tech treasure. Although, as a rogue, I totally can, actually. Is it? What's my special spell as a rogue? I could see it being detect treasure, obviously, but like thematically speaking. But I don't know if it actually is. Um, but I'm, I just have so many potions of object detection. Silver darts. That's beautiful. Um, being be burdened isn't as beautiful. But, you know. Gotta make sacrifices. Preferably of high difficulty monsters. Where is this downstairs? Oh, I found it already. I'm an idiot. Wow. Um, looks like we're making another mini stash. Wow, 11,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> Take out these two because I want all my daggers on hand if need be. Spell books. Those are useless. Do, do, do. Cool. Uh, maybe drop a little bit more just in case I pick up a lot of stuff here. What else can I drop? I mean, various potions. I'm just too lazy to pick out which ones I want to drop. And actually, I'll keep sleeping in case I want to use them. Yeah. Uh, don't want to drop everything. It wouldn't be awful, but. Anything that involves auto-selecting everything has me cautious now that I'm bandying about with bags of tricks and bags of holding and stuff. More of a medium stash, but... We're here, folks. Holy crap, that's a lot of leprechauns. Good lord. At least there's no chameleons. That's nice. Um, oh, now there is one, because a white dragon was there. Right, the, the only reason I think there's no chameleon is because I don't have my ring on. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, a good number and scattered throughout the level. That's very annoying. Um, so here's a fun unique fact, which is to say a fact about uniques and not a fact that is unique. Um, so obviously most of them generate a sleep, which is why they don't immediately come for you. Um,
but most of them, when they wake up, they will teleport towards you, to you. So, like, if I had a way of waking up my quest nemesis, I could, like, boulder forward at the stairs and riddle him with daggers. I don't think he's even poison resistance resistant, which is really irresponsible of an assassin. He even has a poison attack. But yeah, he only resists petrification. That's just insane. Um, anyway, I could do that. I'm not going to, because he's not that hard of an enemy. If he were some sort of demon lord, chances of me doing that go significantly up. Um, also, as I've mentioned earlier, there are some monsters that will wait for you. Um, so these include the um, Goblin King, which is why he just sticks around on his throne until you step into the room. Um, well, step into the room and throw something at him, usually. Because you don't want to step right up next to him, because then he'll massacre you. Um, Catherine, the Ice Queen, which we haven't seen yet, but she's another enemy that waits around for you. Um, there's only one enemy that's both covetous and will wait for you. And that's a seriously annoying combination. Um, because even if you wake... So it's Vecna, a new optional boss. And even if you wake him up, he won't come for you. So you can't kill him from the safety of a boulder fort. You have to go all the way across the level, wake him up, and then, because he's covetous, he'll warp to the upstairs whenever he's damaged. So you have to do this like long-running battle to get back to the upstairs, unless you happen to kill him or paralyze him and then kill him, etc. Um, and then you can finally you kill him or you engage him on the upstairs and kill him or whatever. But it's a really annoying fight. Um, the Valkyrie quest artifact prevents monsters from waiting for you. Um, so it will actually attract Vecna to the stairs. And honestly, if I had had a wish by now, I might have considered wishing for it. Basically just for Vecna and for this particular level. Because I don't have cursed invisibility at the moment. Um, okay. This is annoying. I need protection from shape changers so that the chameleons don't get me. I need free action so that the Naga can get me. I need polymorph control so I can polymorph into a Zorn and phase through these levels. Um, I suppose free action is less important at the moment because there are no Nagas in the same region as I am. Um, let's see. So put on Ring of Poly Polymorph Control and take out a tin of chameleon meat. One problem with polymorphing is that there's always a chance you'll poly polymorph into your own form and um, that changes your stats. So since mine are pretty maxed, I don't want that because they can only get worse. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it, so... Um, yeah, I just have to bite the bullet. Hope for the best. Am I wearing my polymorph control? I am. Now I want to take off my body armor since zones are large. Um, side note, there are two artifacts in Evil Hack that grant phasing. But one's a quest artifact and one um, is forged from two others, which I don't have. So I don't really have any good ac access to them. Um, polymorph is the only real way to get over there, unless I want to wait for something else. Um, side note, how close do I need to get um, to... So I'm wondering if I can maybe wake up the master assassin, and then I have a shorter run back to the stairs. That might be nice. Uh, so it's like 5.5-ish, I think, is a tooled horn wake radius times like the root of your level, 
what is that? 5.5 times square root of 14. So from 20 squares away, give or take. Say 19 to be safe. Okay. I don't actually know where the master assassin is. There he is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, wait. Can I wake him up from here? We put on my armor real quick. Wake up! No. Damn it. Huh. Okay. Well, that's the closest I can get. And it didn't work. So... Now that I've woken up more leprechauns, let's get started. Take off my armor again. Okay. Wearing a ring of polymorph control. Ah, uh, yes, and the artifact blast. I'd forgotten about that. Not fun. Um, go back to free action. You get auxiliary attacks, I guess. That's cool. I don't know how much damage they actually do. They seem to be doing a fair bit. No, they're just... Oh, 46 bite. That would do it. Why am I blind? Are Zorns just blind? Oh, am I wearing a towel? Yes. <laughs> oh, here comes the Master Assassin. Oh, yikes. That was a good amount of damage. Um... Fun Master Assassin fact. Well, fun Covetous Monster fact. Uh, in Evil Hack, they can only do short jumps. Long enough to keep up with me, don't get me wrong, but um, aha. Oh, and he's weak again. Typical. All right, here we are. And now my master plan unfolds. Oh, I hope my dragon doesn't attack him too much. I am going to steal my quest artifact. That's right, folks. I did it. I need the ball of opening too, of course. Whatever that is. Haha! -ha. And now. I'm just gonna. Damn it! <laughs> he came with. Do I still have my quest artifact though? I do, okay. I can't remember if we can steal it or not. No, he only steals the amulet. That's kind of odd. I mean, why would you have the amulet on you? Um, I mean, it's no fun if I steal it just to kill him immediately after. But I also don't want to waste my only potion of paralysis. However, I, yep, I do have a potion of sleep, which I can use.
Nope, apparently I can't. Oh, what's his MC? MR. No, oh, it's not very high. Okay, I had to leave my pseudo dragon behind, but whatever. It was kind of lame. Haha! -ha. I don't know, I may decide to come back and murder him, but I kind of enjoy the idea of just stealing it and running away. <laughs> like, on one hand, he's clearly an awful assassin. Just terrible at it. And I kind of want to rub that in by killing him. On the other hand, I'm a rogue. Stealing things is what I do. Anyway. Um, keep the master key out. Oh, actually. Yeah, well, I'll keep it out. But um, I was going to adjust it to my unlocking tool slot. But I'm not totally certain if I'll keep it. Because I have abused my alignment. Um, I have 10 points of alignment abuse from angering a peaceful monster and then killing said peaceful monster. Okay, my uh, bag of tricks is fully charged. Emergency bag. Put in. D. Oh, that's a different letter slot. Good to know. Um, oh, that means I won't want to be burdened when having a conversation either. Anyway, um, so 10 points of alignment abuse. Um, if you abuse your alignment, there's a alignment abuse in 50 chance. You'll have to give your quest artifact back. I actually don't know if it might be capped at something below 100%. Can't remember. Can't remember. But, um... Either way, for me, it'll be a one-fifth chance I have to give it back. Which isn't nothing, but... I mean, it's not a lot, but it isn't nothing. Okay, what do I want to drop? Don't need any weapons. Oh, I still haven't tested... Well, this might be cursed. It came off of a player monster, so it almost certainly isn't, but it might be. So I'll wait to test that. No, I'll keep my gold. It's the roguey thing to do. If I'm going to inject some roleplay, I might as well go all in. Gotta carry my cash wherever I go. Okay, not burdened. Um, I think I'll... Mm, Okay, uh, this, oh, that was just, whenever I see the prompt that allows me to move the cursor around, I just automatically assume it's teleportation, but it's clairvoyance a lot. So that's confusing me. Um, okay, what was I going to do? Oh, right, ring-wise. What, what am I doing ring-wise? Um, I'm going to put this back in my bag because I don't need it. I think I'll stick with shape changers for now, though. Um, and let's just check out the Master of Thieves real quick. Magic saving throw of 90, so sleep and resist sleep anyway, so I can't sleep in. High damage weapon attacks. Can't steal my quest artifact, though, which does give half physical damage, which is cool. Um, okay. Um, if he asks for the quest artifact back, I'm just going to give it to him. And then I'll come back later and steal it. Or I might just immediately try to steal it. But I'll have to calculate my chances first of success. Let's see what happens. Okay. So he, he lets me stay, keep the, ma uh, keep the key of thievery. You see what happened to the Master Assassin when he refused. Yeah, he, he lost the key. 
very terrifying. <laughs> um, I'm kind of surprised there isn't special text for if you don't kill the Master Assassin. I think it would be funny if there was. I mean, I guess any um, any role can technically steal their quest artifact without killing the nemesis, but it's much more difficult for them. They'd have to polymorph or get the artifact before the nemesis can wake up, something like that. Um, okay, I'm going back to warning now. Um, yeah, so that's the quest, kind of anticlimactic. Um, some notes, if you complete the quest and your quest leader doesn't get mad at you, um, he blesses and erode proofs uh, your quest artifact and identifies it, obviously. Um, and he also removes um so like the bell of opening i think spawns cursed but he removes the curse from it and maybe pluses it too if you um if he's happy with your alignment and stuff where is the up oh it's a portal right i just walked right past it <laughs> all righty i think we're gonna end there